So after she got baptized in May, what she did was she ended the relationship with him. I mean, I know if church I tell her, say, I'm not right for you. Or I don't know if the Lord was speaking to her through pastor. And I tell her, say, I'm not right for you. Me more right for you. You know, <laughs> I don't know. All right, some people feel the need to possess other people like their material, they, they must have to own them and then you have to bow down to their every wish and all these kind of things. You know, lock her in a house, make she cook and clean and do everything where himself and do my food must be ready by this time and all that. And she can't talk to nobody and if she goes anywhere, it's where you're going, who you're going with, when you're coming back. May I call you when you call, when I call you, you better answer, FaceTime, show me everything that's around you. And that, like, people are out there that live like this and actually take full control or try to take full control of other people's lives. And when they're no longer able to do so, then do things like, well, kill the people and stop them up, chop them up. And people call it a mental illness. That ain't no mental illness, but in a sense it is. Anyways, the story says a Christian man who allegedly chopped a male to death just a few hours after he was born again is now in police custody following a series of machete attacks which left several persons nursing injuries in the Glencoff St. Catherine area. The headline come out and the headline said man murdered hours after being baptized chopped several persons Somebody confused because I'm thinking the man murdered, was he murdered after he chopped several people? Anyway, we're going to get into it and talk about it. Mental illness is real. It's very real. And then again, some people are just narcissistic and just crazy as hell, which in itself, for me, is a form of mental illness. Some man stop up and chop up them girlfriend because she want left and people are talking about mental illness. That's not a mental illness. You just went overboard. This particular story now, according to the star, one man is dead and two others, including the former girlfriend, are said to be nursing injuries. The dead man has been identified as 32-year-old Marlon Robinson, a laborer of the Glencoff district address. Reports from the police are that he was chopped to death at his home by a man at about 11.30 p.m. late night, almost midnight, on a Sunday. Hear this now. A series of events involving the accused the day before may have triggered Sunday's deadly attack. Here's how it all went down. According to residents that see and know, the accused began showing some weird type of behavior after his girlfriend got baptized in May. I don't know, but she got baptized in May and she ended the relationship right away. He was allegedly told to move on with his life. However, residents in the neighborhood claim that the accused man said that he could not live without her. I guess the part where they never hear is when he did say, if me can't have you, nobody else can. But they did hear him say he could not live without her because he walked the whole neighborhood and tell everybody say he can't live without her. Saturday night, he attacked his own stepmother and holding a cutlass to her neck, him tell him father and him stepmother say, them I walk up here and them I use him as a sacrifice. Chip lick. The father stepped in and the police came and them bring him to a station and them talk to him. Now, if you did something like that in say Canada or the US or England, you would have been Baker acted, which means you would have been put in the institution, you probably would have got a few shots of something will make you walk around and crawl and drool by yourself, slow you down for a couple of months and make a thing about life kind of thing and then try to put him on some kind of medication or give him some deep counseling and a time to recover from whatever whatever but in this situation police come police can go to station 
police talk to him. The son tell police nothing let him out because him fears that people in the district are going to kill him if they let him out. After being released by the police, anyways, the resident, him, the one that was accused, walk up and down till daylight. So the police let him out, right? Evening time. And they walk up and down from evening right through the night, right back to daylight. Sign number two, Chip Lick. Nobody now take it seriously enough though, right? Listen what happens. After going to church on Sunday and getting baptized, the same day, the attacks on residents started again where this time persons had to defend themselves by grouping into a mob. So the man got church, you know. You know when you go to church and them have altar call, him go up at all times say, Lord, I want to give my life to thee, hallelujah, Jesus. Lay down, kneel down, all them things there. Right after him do that, him get up, take up him machete, and walk road again, and start attacking people again. This is someone that is sick to me. Leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me what you think about that. Anyway, after going to church on Sunday and getting baptized that same day, the attacks on the residents started again, where this time persons had to group into mobs to defend themselves. During the mayhem, the accused broke free and ran to the home. Listen to this. During the mayhem, the accused broke free, ran to the home of his ex-lover where he attacked his former mother-in-law and Robinson with whom she shares a child. So her man or her child's father or baby daddy was there. So he attacked the girl mother and he attacked her baby father. Nothing but the girl left him and said, Jesus, I forgot to be with my baby father because He's the father of my child and that is where I need to be. And the father of the child I say, yes, come make we make family because we have baby already. And this man here said, no, but I use you, use me. And them kind of thing that be very careful of those situations, ladies. You understand? So, during the mayhem, he broke free. People hold him, you know. A mob of people come down, pat him and hold him. Beat him on everything. Some of them, them say even chop him. Him run. Ran to straight to her house. Chip Lick. Him reach there and kick off the door. This is somebody telling what happened. Him reach there and kick off the door and start attack them. And the sister-in-law she run out, left them in there. Him chop up the man and come out, left him in there. All this time nobody knew. That Robinson get chopped up inside there and lay down dead in there. So you see that? A mob of people started attacking him after he attacked someone. And what did he do? He got mission focused. Ran to her house, kick off the door, see her baby daddy in there and her mother. Chop after the mother, chop up the baby daddy in there and came out the house and walked about his business. When him come out of the house, the people them start beating him. And it's like the more them beat him, is the stronger he became. And when him I get the beating, him start telling the people them for crown me, crown me king, because no care overpower me, so crown me, crown me king, because no care overpower me. That's Chip Lick. Our news team was told that after checks were made, Robinson was found dead. Slumped over a bathtub containing water. In other words, the people them beat him till him dead. The police were later summoned and the accused was taken into custody. Two persons, including the former lover of the accused, who was bitten, stabbed, and chopped by the accused, remained in the hospital in stable condition. 
Glencoe police are investigating. I'm going to leave that one right there. And I want you to leave your comment in the comment section below and tell me if you know about this situation, any situation similar to this. By listening to this story, what do you think happened to this individual as far as his mental state and what might have led up to this? Now, I want you to take everything into consideration that I just said to include the fact that some women do use men and some men just can't take the using even though some men put themselves in that position. You know what I have a saying, see a fool, use a fool. Anyway, I'm going to leave it right there. So, Flow TV, man, like, comment, share, subscribe. Leave your comment in the comment section below. And I'll catch you on the next video. I'm out. Peace.